this is why you need to watch this before you buy this. If you are at the store and you're looking at this video, you landed on the right video because this is probably one of the factors on making your decision. All right. So unlike my other projector where you can actually reduce the screen size within the projector, this one is stationary. You have to actually place it to get your screen size that you want. That is fine. Now, they give you a stand, all right? Most projectors come with a stand, you twist it, and the stand, you know, props it up how it's supposed to. So, enough looking at me, and let me bring y'all down to speed. Okay, you guys, so in my situation, a couple of uncomfortable features that this thing is happening, <laughs> okay? So, a couple of things. So one, in order for me to give it this power source, I have to supply the power here. And you might ask, well, why do you have to supply the power right there? It's because that's the only way that I can give this thing power is to use an extension cord. And if you have a smaller extension cord, fine. But this is the only one I have is this old orange one for now. Now here I have the foot all the way out sorry trying to show y'all so i have the foot all the way out i cannot take the foot out anymore or else it will come off so with that being said this is a regular coffee table regular coffee table height now you see that the screen is literally on the bottom all right so in order for the screen to be in the middle, I will literally have to raise this up at least three foot, which will be in, to, in the center of attention right here. All right, now you might say, well, why don't you put it on the ceiling? That's fine. But if I put it on the ceiling, my ceiling, uh, mount is right there i will literally have to mount it here and move all my electrical from here to there guess which way my joists are running they're running this way they're not running this way that means i will have to cut a hole throw another wire and rewire my hdmi to over here my power source to over here and that is hella a lot of work to do. So no, that will not be happening. So basically, if I have this over here, all the wires and stuff will be hanging down in front of everybody right here. And it will just look like a hot mess. All right, now you might say, why don't you just raise it up and put it in the middle? Well, it's gonna be in everybody's way because for it to be in the middle, it has to be in front of everybody. No matter how far up in the middle, on my knees right now, no matter how far up in the middle I go, it will just be right there. Now, this is fine. Maybe people can look up at it. The projector is not in the way, but the screen is about, you know, 40 inches. So you're not really getting a movie feel. Well, I am not getting a movie feel, okay? All right, so let's go back. All right, now we got that out the way, that out the way, and that out the way. All right, unlike my other projector, which is right there, this, my friends, is another issue. When you get behind it, it operates. You see that? About to step in front. And it stops. All right, just showed y'all that. So that is a few cons that we have here. With this projector here, I can actually aim the remote to the screen and it goes wherever I want it to go. I can do basically a lot with this projector. 
uh, reduce the screen, use the remote anywhere, uh, mount it anywhere. I can mount it, like I said, right there. If I want to mount the projector uh, anywhere else, I can mount it anywhere else because I can control the screen. Controlling the screen is very important. All right. Now, somebody else might ask, well, is your TV stand too high? Okay, so I made this TV stand, but I made this TV stand based on sizes of other TV stands. So this is a two foot TV stand. Uh, basically standard size if you was gonna get a TV stand. I know some TV stands are shorter, but even if you have a shorter TV stand, if you look down here, literally I am almost 12 inches away from hitting my baseboard with the projector screen. So you see the baseboard right there. The baseboard and the projector screen is literally like not even 12 inches. That's like eight inches away. So you will need a super small uh, TV thing, stand. <laughs> All right, so yes, I can just move the TV stand out the way. But guess what? If you have an Xbox, few Xboxes here, uh, a Nintendo, and whatever else equipment y'all got here, your receiver that's wired to all your speakers, then guess what? That is a lot of work to remove all of that just to watch a movie. All right, you guys, so I just checked it out. Um, this is no screen mirroring also thought it was screen mirroring on it. You know, I even see stuff on Amazon that has better capabilities than this one. Okay. So unfortunately, like I said, it has to go goodbye. I won't miss it. Um, yeah, if it works for you, awesome, but it don't work for me. All right, you guys, other than that, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, <laughs> leave it in the comment section because, um, yeah, you will, you will definitely, uh, let's just say this. If you spend $60 more, you can get something like what I got, Okay. I'm just going to be honest, 60, even, even a hundred dollars more will be worth it. Okay. Because with this, you will need to, you will need to reconstruct whatever you got going on. Maybe you don't have a TV stand. Perfect. If you don't have a TV stand, this is for you. All right. But if you like to screen mirror, if you like to, you know, show your videos from your phone on your uh, projector, if you want to show photos from your projector from your phone, sorry to tell you, you're out of luck. You will have to transfer everything to a USB drive and hook it via USB. Other than that, you guys, I'm done with this review. Like, comment and subscribe. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews and I want to wish everyone out there a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. 100 bucks you get a projector and you get the screen. So from one corner to another corner is 120 inches. When you first open the box right here you have the remote. We have here our screen the man or lady of the hour and this is compact probably the smallest projector ever or you could use it as a foot stand so if you want to angle it more all right you guys so right here you have your headphone jack right there you have your audio jack right here and that's where they give you this I guess if you want to hook up uh, maybe like a DVD player or something you can hook it up to here so you can watch DVDs from your projector um, you also have a memory card uh, slot right here HDMI 1 HDMI 2 
USB. So you could go ahead and put them put on your USB. Maybe you have photos you want to do slideshows or whatever you want to do. And you have your DCN. So basically your power will be right here.